Hello, I'm John Fain. Let me tell you about my new book, Apollo and Thelma. I only met Thelma Hawkes after she died. Her brother, the mighty Apollo, introduced us. And to tell you their story, I have to tell you some of mine. Apollo was the world's strongest man. He became my favourite client in the law firm where I was working, where we were trying to unravel her estate. She died very suddenly at the remote pub in the Northern Territory where she lived for decades and ran the pub on her own in some of the roughest territory this country has to offer. I became enamoured with their stories and for years and years I've been chasing different rabbits down burrows to learn more about Top Springs in the Northern Territory but also the mighty Apollo. He was famous for having an elephant stand on him and he survived and he used to pull trams and fire engines and trucks with a toggle in his teeth. The story of his three underage sons and the complex estate along with the surrounds of Top Springs is the nucleus of this book. What was compelling about Top Springs, where Thelma's pub was, was that it was just down the road from Wave Hill, as it used to be called, the scene of the Gurindji walk-off, the famous trigger for land rights in Australia. You might all recognise Gough Whitlam pouring sand into the hands of Vincent Lingiari. In exploring Thelma's life and uncovering some of her secrets, I revisit the Gurindji walk-off and discover there's much more to it than we've been told. Not all of it is comfortable. Some of it, in fact, in the best tradition of truth-telling, is distinctly uncomfortable. But once you start telling stories, telling the truth is absolutely critical. So I hope you enjoy where this yarn goes, and I hope you enjoy learning about Apollo and Thelma.